Hey everybody out there, I'm Josh Ladd from Feral Cuisine. Today we are going to be today we are going to be making some beef and broccoli. I'm not using steak because steak is really expensive. I have a friend who gave me a bunch of venison that I already cooked. So this is this is like Chinese venison and broccoli. Oh. First thing of all, boil some water to kind of par cook the broccoli. While this is coming to a boil, I'm going to start gathering all my other ingredients. Venison. Ingredients are assembled. I have the broccoli, I have the venison, and then I've got all the other stuff for the sauce. You don't have to use beef, you don't have to use steak, you don't have to use venison. You can use whatever protein you want. Leftover pork chops, chicken. This is a really versatile recipe. I think it'll go better this time because I'm actually following a recipe, mostly. Wash and chop up the broccoli here. Everyone and their mother and their dog and their dog's mother should all have a nice chef's knife. Chopping broccoli. I'm going to cut them into just pieces about this big, maybe a little bigger than bite size. Hey, I'm going over you. How's it going? You want some broccoli? Almost. You used to be able to catch. What happened? The broccoli is all chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my sauce. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put on the, uh, the big fry pan to preheat. I'm going to get my big huge cast iron skillet here. Toss a little bit of oil in there. That's preheating. This is one of the areas where I am going off recipe a little bit. Allie and her recipe uh, calls for oyster sauce. I could not find oyster sauce at my grocery store. They had miso, which the ingredients are just soybeans, brown rice, water, and sea salt. Miso gives a lot of that same kind of umami, uh, really savory flavors that oyster sauce is supposed to. As long as it tastes good, then I won't ever know the difference. Three quarter cup water, three tablespoons miso. Miso is really thick and sticky and kind of looks like poop. So three poops of miso, three tablespoons soy sauce, One tablespoon cornstarch. Cornstarch. Ah! One tablespoon rice wine vinegar. I said one teaspoon. One tablespoon. One teaspoon sesame oil. Sesame oil is great stuff. It's got this just really awesome rich aroma. I was just amazed at how much uh, taste and aroma and experience. It's added experience, so get the sesame oil experience. One teaspoon of sesame oil experience. This is the other part where I'm not actually following the recipe. Allie calls for powdered ginger. 
I love the fresh stuff. You can get it at almost any grocery store now. They always have it just in the produce department. It's a big old rooty thing. I keep it in the freezer because then I don't have to worry about it going bad. It grates a lot easier when it's frozen. Uh, it just makes everything very easy keeping it in the freezer. And you don't need to be super, super precise about this. I usually grate maybe about an inch worth of ginger. And I've seen a lot of websites out there. The kitchen, I'm talking to you, who would talk about how you really need to peel your ginger before you start grating it. That's not true. There's no need to do that. It's so easy. You just put it in the freezer and then you take it out and then you grate it. And there. My water is boiling, so I'm just gonna dump broccoli in here and just let it boil for about 30 seconds. It doesn't really need any longer than that. Dump it in the pan over there. That sizzle means that flavor is happening. I forgot the garlic. I usually forget something. starch, then it would have been perfect. Pop some chopped almonds on top of there. A little more sriracha. I think that looks all right. Check that out. Josh Ladd from Feral Cuisine with venison and broccoli. Check out the original recipe at gimmesomeoven.com. Thank you, Allie, for the recipe to give it a shot. And uh, all y'all have an awesome, awesome day.